Hey, if you're into manifestation and self-empowerment, quantum human potential, I'm going to tell you a very interesting story. Very, 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 very interesting story. What happened to me and I'm also going to tell you in which way this is available for you too. So it became very natural to my quantum human experience ing to be able to switch rain or sun on and off. Now, hey, I wasn't even trying to manifest this. And I know it might sound to, I guess, I don't know, I have a presumption that to the average viewer, this might sound like too weird or too out there. Because I haven't met a lot of people that resonate with this experience. But then again, timelines are very jiggly. And what people reflect to me, that's also very jiggly. So let's say I'm noticing a feeling that if I start to share about this kind of like experiences that sound like superpowers, but they're actually very natural to you because you are consciousness in which the rain, sun and your human body appear. So uh, after a certain time, if you contemplate this experience that you're just the awareness in which there's like a screen with a video game going, it starts to be kind of natural to shift weather, for example. But it also, what I'm seeing are these like patterns and thoughts that are like maybe people are going to be like not really resonating with this. Now, when I see this thought pattern, this interpretation of reality within myself, I'm like, I don't know whether to give you more of these weird things that I've experienced because people are not in tune with that, I can change that assumption, reinterpret that reality assumption and be like, you know what? Everybody's down with this. As soon as I reinterpret my reality expectation template, this is what I get. These type of reactions I get from people. Everybody's like, hey, you know, also I'm like turning the rain on and off and everybody's like down with what I have to say. Now, here is one experience where I will also kind of show the mechanics of reality. First, I'll give you the story. It's a very interesting story, something that actually happened uh, in my experiencing of this reality a one or two years ago. So humans had this pandemic and that was a, well, like personally, I haven't seen anyone die, but it was broadcasted. It was broadcasted on the media that every, everybody's dying and whatnot. So if you are a quantum human, or if you're attempting to like have this worldview perspective because you are qu quantum human, if you're like here right now, everything is quantum. But the quantum understanding or the quantum interpretation of yourself, mind over matter. So actually by imagining a virus or believing that there is a virus that will manifest a virus. Ima whatever you assume and you start to imagine will manifest as a physical reality. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we need to think of like thoughts and language as a program. And so the program is being uh, dis disseminated from the mass media that you are going to catch a virus. So everybody watches the news and then thinking about the virus and then the, you, they have the, the virus or they whatever. So I'm not watching media <laughs> because I'm creating my own reality interpretation and based on just the memories that I have and the interpretation that I have, I have a lot of, my plate is full. I have a lot of information to digest and process and recreate and defragment and then, you know, manifesting my own, creating my own reality, 
and then when I start to co-create with a few people it's already like a lot of information and if I would try to manifest something that I want but I would like getting projections of everybody else's reality and the media then I would be literally stuck in the general interpretation. Now I don't need a general interpretation because general interpretation does not allow enough magic. So I really really select and screen what channels I'm consuming. Who am I talking to? I handpick a few people on YouTube or somewhere and then I follow them. If it is resonant and relevant for me and my growth, cool. Then if not, unfollow and then like sometimes, most of the times shut down and just get the spirit or the quantum field and work with that. So I don't need TV, I can tap into the quantum field and then work with these streams of information. This is where I'm talking from. And there's infinite uh, information you're connected to all the time. Now here's the thing. Media was broadcasting a pandemic and then the rulers of the world that are governments that deal not with the metaphysical but with the physical assets like roads and buildings and you know people in these terms of like arranging how everything they had to then issue something that is called like a lockdown mm -hmm. so the worldly government that arranges physical things and operates within the physical reality template or the subset of the holistic reality which is both physical and quantum spiritual they are creating this lockdown but this is happening in the what you call like heaven and hell right so this is happening on the material world in the material world they're organizing a lockdown within the material world now i'm coming into my restaurant and they say they're gonna close. There's a, I like to have a place where I go and have a coffee and sit and chill. They say they're gonna close. And I say, quantum, universe, whatever, can we have a different timeline arrangement that the restaurant stays open because this sucks. Like I don't, I don't wanna be going home, sitting at home, like twiddling my fingers, I wanna like, be in a restaurant, you know, some people moving, some social socialization. It's a more nice atmosphere for me. So just based on my heart choice, I'm choosing. Now, immediately there's a timeline switch. Immediately the restaurant stays open and it, it looks like this. This is really non-linear. It's really non-linear because at one moment there is a waiter coming and saying, hey guys, you're going to have to leave because now there are new rules. It's a lockdown and we're closing and eight. And he's wearing a mask. Then I'm talking to the universe about having a different experience. And then another waiter comes, no mask. And I'm like, excuse me, how long are you going to be open for? They say, we're working normal hours. So I'm like, good. How? Is this computed by the universe? I don't have to even understand in a linear way. But if I need to explain it top to bottom, there is multiple timelines always being crystallized as potentials of what everybody's thinking. So the console, you know, the higher self, the laws, the, 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 the program that is running everything is in fact essentially needing to render for each individual an experience of their choosing whether they are choosing that consciously or unconsciously so that just like going with a program or whatever thinking having thoughts that you're not aware of still the engine or the console the God mind, the universe, whatever you want to call it, that structures the game, is reading everybody's choice. It's reading your words, it's reading your script, it's reading your script, it's in your subconscious mind, it's reading your words, and then it's giving you the quantum collapse of a reality experience based on what you selected. 
and it's also giving that whatever they selected and it's also creating a multiplayer arena where it seems there's an objective reality where we are kind of experiencing a collective agreement but also like you could be seeing angels like somebody can be watching this video and seeing angels around me and I'm communicating with these like different beings and in when I'm like streaming this I have my you know my team we're all talking to you now somebody else might not be seeing anything here and somebody might be seeing angels with wings and another one of you might be seeing orbs so individual interpretation can be different there's not just one picture you could be seeing my my higher self coming through this and I look blue and like I have orange scarf or whatever but here you might be seeing also I just have orange head headphones and I look in a blue sweatshirt but I look physical like a physical human so there's a lot of shape shifting that can be appearing in your individual brain interpretation and there is a consolidated information here that everybody is like watching this video but there could be <laughs> in this what we assume it's an objective reality there could be many individual interpretations so I'm choosing not to have the lockdown because I'm the creator who the fuck is gonna say what you have to do you don't have to buy that you are the creator you see but this is also having filters boundaries and firewalls of what other people say is true and if you want to make that objective and true for you so funny thing <laughs> real funny thing I'm living at the time I was in Bali and I'm living in this spiritual village and if you've ever been to Bali it's Ubud and they have a restaurant it's called Sayuri's right so Sayuri's is like my hangout and they, every day I'm having coffee there and now somebody said and they said there's going to be lockdown and you have to actually leave the restaurant we're going to close at eight o'clock and I was like uni bro it's uni bro <laughs> like uni bro let me have a, a restaurant that's open good Another waiter comes, no mask, they say, we're open till 12, everything's good. Actually, all my people started to move away from the table when the staff asked us to leave. Now, I didn't, I di I didn't make it a debate with the staff or with this presented reality. I didn't make a debate of it. I just like asked the creative agency, which is a spirit, to recreate the reality this other waiter uh, came everybody was leaving now everybody was caught up in the conversation everybody sat down we stayed in the restaurant normal working hours no pandemic now here's a funny one we be coming to the restaurant each day working normally to me it appears now that there is no pandemic. I don't think about it. It's not present in my script. I don't experience it. I canceled that channel of my TV, of my video game. I canceled that channel. I skipped to a different channel. Easy peasy, quantum shifting, right? You can do this with everything. Discernment is here. What you allow in becomes projected out what you select from within becomes projected out you make the choices there's infinite choices to make there's infinite information that you can take you can transform you can de recreate defragment it create something new out of it you are not determined by what appears to be this is like what appears to be physical reality is the pre the rendering of previous choices they are memorizing your subconscious you tell your subconscious to change something that is memorized, it defragments and restructures in a way that you wanna want it to work. Now, no, 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 no. Three weeks after the restaurant timeline shift, 
I'm seeing this really spiritual being. Okay, so there's like this cute guy. He's a friend of mine. Can't remember his name in the moment. He's walking in the street. We are encountering each other and we are chatting. It is in front of the restaurant that I've named. Three weeks have gone since my timeline shift. In my timeline, in the restaurant, there were people, it was open every day, it was normal, I was coming there almost every day. My friend talks to me, he is very aware of whatever, his divine nature, he's a, he's a very, like, he's very in tune with the, with the spirit, if you want to say it like this, something like, so he's conscious, right, he's aware, and then... Playing, playing in the game of life, uh, I recognize him as, you know, being enlightened, of, like uh, if we can say that. He says, what have you been doing for the last three weeks during the lockdown the restaurant was closed? I'm <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean the restaurant was closed? The restaurant was not closed. It was open every day I was here. He says, I was passing this street. Each day there was a sign on the door that the restaurant is closed. And there was a lockdown. So for three weeks I, I stayed at home like I was bored. I was very bored. I say, apparently, you went into this potential by what you chose or accepted or what was told to you and you accepted that. You went into this potential where there was a timeline of this restaurant and everything else being closed I have simply chosen a different potential and the restaurant was open so there's no debate that for you the restaurant was closed and for me it simply wasn't the case it wasn't the scenario Because universe needs to render itself to every unique aspect or individuality of itself in the way that gives us the lesson or the crystallization of phys physical reality and experience what we want to. So reality is not linear. It's quantum and there is a multiverse of potentials. Now, this was somewhat extreme glitch <laughs> between me and my friend. Because like Mandela effects were like half of humanity experiencing something. Nelson Mandela being dead and now he's dying again. And like the other half is like remembering half of humanity. No, he was alive. He just died. And half of humanity is like, nah, he was, he died in the 90s. So there's like an obvious disruption of our linear objectivity assumption, right? And so it is with me and my friend, but we both accept that understanding that this type of inconsistency is just the quantum nature of reality that we each having a different experience and that physically it is manifested to our best to, to our interpretation the ex the reality interprets itself accordance to what we expect from it now I will give you something to ponder 
and then we can close this transmission. Let's say you and me are in a restaurant and there is a band playing while we're having dinner and chit-chatting about stuff. You are having a lobster, I'm having a club sandwich, we are both drinking some wine. There is a band, or a, let's say a piano player, right? He's playing. Da -da 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 He's playing Beautiful Maria of My Soul, if you know the song. Da -da 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 -da. And then he's singing on the mic. Beautiful Maria of my soul. And so we listen to the song. Now, the piano player, he goes on a little break. And we're still like drinking our wine. We had a dinner. Now we're talking. And I say... Uh, like, just before, when he was playing, uh, da -da -na Maria de mi amor. So, I'm saying he was playing the song in Spanish, basically. And I'm trying to talk to you about it. So, I say, so look, uh... Like, just when he was playing this song in Spanish, it reminded me of that time when I went to Spain for a holiday. And you'd be like, no, he was playing Beautiful Maria of My Soul, but like he wasn't playing it in Spanish. And I'm like, I clearly remember. Da -na 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 -na. Now I don't know. Now I don't know the Spanish words actually, but I clearly remember that he was like na 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 Maria, de mi amor, na da 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 da, and you're like no, he was like I clearly remember that he played a English version like of my soul. So we're like experiencing the same piano player in the same place, and then we're saying. Is it possible that he was playing both versions and then you just, you know, one after the other and then you just like paid attention to one and I paid the attention? And we agree that he played it only once, but I apparently heard the Spanish version, you heard the English version. Now we start to talk to people in the restaurant. And now there's a different actually result that we get whether everybody remembers the spanish version except you or everybody remembers the english version except me or half half or whatever the percent all right there's either like more quantum stability on the english version or there's more quantum stability on the spanish version when we interview everybody that we're sitting around us so we're trying to get empirical evidence, but now we're seeing that people are just either aligned with one reality experience or the other. But let's say if everybody remembers the English version and I'm still having the Spanish version experience or vice versa, everybody remembers the Spanish and you're the only one who heard it in English. Does that make you crazy? Does that make you crazy? Is there an objective reality? Do we need to argue about which one is real, true and objective? If we are understanding that there are multiple potential realities and that we're just selecting a channel and that individual each individual each individual will get a different channel even when we are 
in something that would need to be collapsed as an objective experience in the multiplayer arena. Now, if you accept that everybody has their subjective interpretation of the objective reality, then here's a question. Do you still give a fuck about what anybody else thinks or judges to be true or not if it doesn't resonate with your happiness? I'll leave you with that.